Well, hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey. I'm a board certified orthodontist, as well as the co-founder of TreeMinder. TreeMinder is an app created for clear aligner users to help track their wear times and to remind them to change to a new set of aligners. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the results of some experiments I've been doing on the weekends. I wanted to find out what is the best cleaning agent to use on clear aligners and Essex retainers. I wanted to find something for you guys that was effective. It's going to clean, hopefully disinfect your clear aligners, keep them fresh and minty, and also hopefully to remove some of the stains that you can get from drinking coffee, wine, or tea. So if you've missed a previous uh, video that I've done uh, on what is the most staining drink for clear aligners, the result uh, is that coffee compared to tea and red wine, coffee was the most staining liquid. So now that you know that, what I did was I took six new clear aligners, Invisalign brand clear aligners, and I soaked all six of the clear aligners in coffee, warm, lukewarm coffee for 30 minutes. And then after that, I treated all six of the clear aligners with different cleaning agents. I used Retainer Bright. I used Invisalign Cleaning Crystals. I used a generic uh, denture cleaning tablet uh, from Target. I also tried Listerine, um, which is a mouth rinse that you can use for your teeth and mouth. I also used uh, this Ever Smile White Foam that was recommended to me by a viewer. It's an aligner cleaner and whitening foam that you can take on the go. And another viewer also recommended Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. So I wanted to test those out for you guys to see if uh, any of them were particularly effective and uh, that I would personally recommend. So I started with uh, the three tablets crystals. So I used um, the Retainer Bright. I also used the uh, Invisalign Cleaning Crystals and I also used the uh, Target Generic Denture Tablet. When I soaked all three of them in those cleaning solutions uh, for about 30 minutes, I rinsed them out and I looked at them and unfortunately I didn't see a big difference in terms of stain removal. Uh, all three of the cleaners showed the same amount of stain. There was still some coffee stains that are pretty evident when you compare it to the uh, the control, which is the clear aligner that was never soaked in coffee. Um, so in terms of if you're looking for something that will help to remove the stains of coffee, none of the three that I, I tested did too much. Um, so and then so then what I did was I also then compared um, the other three groups, which were the Listerine, the uh, Ever Smile Aligner Cleaning Foam and the uh, Dr. Dr. Bronner's. And I was actually kind of surprised by the findings. I found that the one that was the best at removing the stain was actually Listerine. Um, and I was, I, I had pretty high hopes for the Ever Smile Foam because of the hydrogen peroxide. I thought that would be the winner, but actually it didn't, um, remove too much of the coffee stains and the Dr. Bronner's didn't really either. So I think in terms of all six of them, um, there isn't a great difference in terms of removing the coffee stain. Maybe I would give the edge to Listerine, but um, they're all pretty much the same. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of each one. And, uh, and then you can decide for yourself which one you would want to use for your cleaning 
purposes. Now, my criteria for cleaning retainers and aligners is that number one, hopefully it can help to kill some of the viruses and bacteria. Uh, number two, that it's going to keep your clear aligners clear without making them appear cloudy. Uh, number three is that it's not going to affect too much the flexibility or strength of your clear aligners. Um, and number four, that it's not going to create scratches or micro abrasions to your clear aligners. So I'm not so concerned about those things for clear aligners that you're going to use and throw away. But if you are using them to clean your Essex retainers or your Vivera retainers that you're going to want to try to keep for the long term, then those things that I uh, mentioned earlier, it does play a part and I think it is important. So let's start with the Retainer Bright. That's the one that I recommend to my patients. I like it because it's easy to use, it's relatively inexpensive, um, and it does a good job of keeping your clear aligners minty and fresh. It kills bacteria and viruses and um, it's, it's pretty simple. So I, I like that. Um, the second one is the Invisalign Cleaning Crystals. To me, it really didn't stand out in any way to the to Retainer Bright or to the generic denture cleaners. Um, it but the price is quite high. I think in the U.S., it comes out to be about a dollar per packet, and um, it didn't really make my clear aligner any wider when compared to the other cleaners. Also, I didn't really like the packaging of the crystals. When you open it up, I always get a few little crystals that come out of the packet and it kind of gets all over the counter. So I, I didn't really like that. So I personally wouldn't buy that with my own money uh, because I don't think it's a great value and I don't think it really stands out to me in terms of its cleaning powers. Um, I did look at the ingredient list. It has a sodium sulfate, which is a filler that they use in detergents. It increases the thickness of water. It has sodium carbonate, which um, is used for cleaning, and it's also known as washing soda. Don't confuse that with sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda. And then it also has a sodium tripolysulfate, uh, which is an ingredient that they use in detergents and soaps. It, what it does is it softens the water. And then it has uh, a chemical called sodium dichloroisocyanurate. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, but uh, it's a long one. It is a cleaning agent and a disinfectant. And it's also known as potassium salt. And they use that as a disinfectant for fruits, for vegetables, cleaning floors and doorknobs etc. And then lastly, it has sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS. You guys are familiar with SLS. They use that in detergents to make, uh, the, to make your hand wash or your, your shampoo, your face wash. It, it adds that foaming bubble. Uh, so it's a foaming agent. So those are the ingredient lists in the uh, Invisalign cleaning crystal. So I'm just basically a uh, bunch of cleaners kind of like detergents that you know normal detergent ingredients and then it's got that um, disinfectant agent that sodium dcc that i'm not going to repeat for you um so that's that's what it is so i was trying i was hoping that there would be some secret super power cleaning ingredient or some something that would make it stand out. But those were the ingredients in the Invisalign cleaning crystals. And then we have the generic uh, denture cleaning tablet. That's the one that I usually use myself. I just buy the one from Target. It's super cheap. I think it's 120 packets for, or tablets for, three dollars or something like that i always say it wrong but i will list it for you guys down below in the description box 
And uh, there are a few other ingredients in the denture cleaning tablet that isn't in the Invisalign cleaning crystals. Namely, it has baking soda. It also has citric acid, which um, it's a disinfectant against viruses and bacteria. And when you mix the, the two together, it makes it fizzy and foaming. So that's what you see when you pop one of those tablets in the water, it starts to fizz. I think that's the chemical reaction between the baking soda and the citric acid. Um, it also has a TAED, which is a bleach activator for laundry detergents. It has a lot of the similar detergent type ingredients that you would find in the Invisalign cleaning crystals. It also has um, both Retainer Bright and the, the denture cleaning tablets. They have a lot of dyes. They have different dyes um, that makes them green or blue. I think that maybe that's the one uh, positive for the Invisalign cleaning tablets is that it's white and it doesn't have any uh, added colorants which um, you know for some people they could be sensitive to that but I assume that if you uh, soak your retainers in these uh, solutions you would rinse them out really well so it really shouldn't be an issue that there are these um, colorants that are added. So those are the three. Now I'm going to go into Listerine. Listerine is, um, I think that because of its high alcohol content, probably it's going to be the best at uh, killing, you know, 99.9% .9 of the germs uh, that can cause odors and, you know, bacteria and viruses. The one thing that I don't like about Listerine is also why I like it, and it's that it's got the high alcohol content, and I think that uh, if you soak your retainers in the alcohol for a long time, it can have a very drying effect. It can dry out your aligners or your retainers, and it can make them more brittle to breakage. So. That's the one caveat against using Listerine. Um, okay, and then, so then we have this Ever Smile White Foam Aligner Cleaning. It's, it's, um, it's like a little bottle. Um, it's got this label and it's got this clear bottle. Uh, it's a pump and when you pump it, it comes out in a foam. And in the experiment, I think I used way too much in the instructions that says that you should just use one pump and then you use the tip to spread the foam around. Um, to be honest with you, I was, I had high hopes for this one because it, the active ingredient, um, I think is uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is an oxidizing agent. It's supposed to uh, make things brighter and white. It's, a, it's like a whitening agent. Hydrogen peroxide is also used in teeth whitening uh, as well as carbamide peroxide. So I kind of had high hopes for this one. I thought it would really help to make the coffee stains go away or at least whiten more than some of the other agents. But I was wrong. It didn't really do much um, and I wonder if it's because of the delivery system that it's in a clear bottle most of the hydrogen peroxides I've, that I've purchased are always in that brown bottle or you know if you've ever used the peroxyl rinse uh, it's in a opaque white or blue bottle so I don't know if if that um, the light can deactivate the active ingredient, but I'm sure that the makers have thought of that, but that would be my only thought. Um, I guess where it would really shine is that if you are out and about and you don't have access to a sink or something like that, it might be very useful that you could help to um, kill some of the bacteria and, and do a little bit of cleaning or if you're going hiking you don't really have access to a sink and water this could really come in in play um, and it has it has a nice like a sweet minty minty flavor so it doesn't taste bad you definitely taste a little bit of that hydrogen peroxide so it, it could be uh, something that you could consider it isn't super cheap either 
think two fuller size bottles are about $38 on Amazon. So you could consider it if you're a person on the go. Um, but I, yeah, it's not something probably I would purchase for myself. Um, and then finally, one of the, the viewers recommended Dr. Bronner's. I know a lot of you guys are familiar with Dr. Bronner's, this pure Castile soap. Uh, a lot of people use it for all sorts of stuff from washing fruits and vegetables to washing hair or using it even as a face wash, although that might be pretty drying. So I did use a couple of pumps of this in lukewarm water and I soaked it. Um, it's got... I don't know what the what's the but it's it's basically like a cleaner you know it's got um, coconut oil potassium hydroxide it's got palm kernel oil olive oil hemp oil um, and citric acid and it's got vitamin E so yeah it's it's basically like a like a cleaner so um, it just I guess compared to a hand wash uh, soap, which is also a really good option for people to use that you can use just hand soap with a toothbrush to brush your clear aligners. This is good in that it has a lot of that, you know, the natural ingredients and it doesn't have any, it doesn't have any fragrances, which I think is a, is a plus. So um, this could be a, a good, option too. I mean, I always tell my patients, don't just soak your clear aligners or retainers. It's really not going to get them clean enough. If you're going to choose to either soak them or brush them with your toothbrush, I would pick the mechanical method because that's going to give your clear aligners a much better clean than just soaking, especially if you have those attachment uh, bump outs and you have those bite ramps where a lot of food and plaque can get in there. It's, it's really not enough to just soak. So I see all of these as an adjunct to the mechanical cleaning, which I've talked about in other uh, videos. You can use just your toothbrush to do it. You can use an, uh, an electric toothbrush which I really like uh, and for a deep clean you can use like a jewelry ultrasonic jewelry cleaner so I hope that this help this video was helpful for you guys I certainly was very curious and interested in finding out what the best cleaning agent was so that I can make a educated uh, recommendation for my own patients uh, hopefully this is uh, helpful and interesting. I want to know if you have any other recommendations or products that you think I should try. Please uh, let me know in the comment below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. It really helps this channel out and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.